So, could, I want to know more about that, about time arising out of complicated thinking, and and also, do, do bodies only exist in time? Is it is it is time prerequisite for the existence of a body? Um. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure if I said bodies, but I might have done. I more than likely said know. people. You might have done. Mm. I said bodies. Um, <laughs> well, without time, with, I mean, without complicated thinking, there is no time because time is a human concept. Because Tony said time was real and unreal. <laughs> oh, I, I don't, I don't know so much about Tony. No, but I mean, not that I'm looking to start an argument. Yeah. About it. <laughs> 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 I'm, 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 yeah. I'm grappling. So there seems to be. Uh, a movement happening. I mean, there seems to be movement and drinking and talking and sounds appearing. So that indicates a movement happening. But time, the actual word and concept, doesn't exist. I mean, we've just called it T-I-M-E. So there seems to be movement happening, but it's always right now. With and right now are the other bodies. Remembering that B-O-D-Y is also made up by humans. Is that actually the experience? We're so, we're so hypnotized by words. Or is it, I mean, even saying it's an energetic expression is hypnotizing by more words. There is this seemingly, not even perception, but this, this happening, but as soon as you go into language, the separation starts. Without the language, it's one thing. It's one dance. But there does seem to, to be movement happening. And it's pretty funky, though. We can break down that movement of how it's happening. It's happening by lots of images and ideas. So, There's for sure this not moving side as well. I'm not sure if Tony does say that time is real, but he might do. Well, I asked him and he said that. He, says, he sometimes yeah. says different things, but... Yeah, I suppose, I suppose he does. I suppose I'm interested because apart from yes. my mind wants to make time into a <coughs> into almost a physical thing or something that has a flow or, a, or, or in, in which I'm contained or and I want to is it a thing or is it not a thing what which time yeah time it's really weird what's happening isn't it mm. because the only way that past is known as imagery, mm. and future is known as imagery and thoughts and words maybe. Mm. The only certainty is what's actually happening. Yeah, I think Tony means that time exists for the person, for the person, for the thinking person. There seems to be a concrete, concrete Organization at the time, yeah. which is a reference to memory and is projected into future. future. Just thought, but when that person is no longer, all there is is this, and then and it has no reference to past or future. So in that there is no time. It's like an ever-breaking wave that never that never breaks. It's constantly moving, but it's not going anywhere either. That's what I understand. Because I, I think I was here yesterday. I, I believe that I, I was here yesterday yeah. in the past and I sat over there and now I've come back today and I, you know it certainly I've seems, got all, yeah, I've seems got that all, way when I, the I, images appear yeah when, when they don't appear it's completely gone but when the images appear it seems that there are images of yesterday there's lots of images missing it's not one concrete film yesterday but there's lots of images that appear and it seems to and there's a talking about it um but the reason why this is challenged so much is because that person can only exist in that time and there's an obsession with that person. That person replaying, replaying, replaying. Like all these concepts really um, 
none of them are true or right in any way, but the obsession that person has about itself in time, it's constantly living past future, past future, whereas time was only the humans at all that was to help with hunting and gathering and mating and growing. Yeah, and, you know, like you said, oh, you, you were interested in the child, child thing, the child situation in our community, and I said, oh, yes, we did a TEDx talk. Yeah. That's in my head, isn't it? As in time, you could look it up. Yeah. But, but I it's think happening. I did that a year ago. But it's always happening right now, all that imagery and that conversation. And it's amazing how it just carries on talking about that that time bound reality, but it's not a reality. It's always appearing right now. This has always been the freedom. What's actually happening? It's always appearing in this. But the Even person, those images of the talk would be appearing if you if we watched it would be appearing in this. Yeah. yeah. But the the person is so obsessed with itself and always living in what I've done, where I'm going, what I've done, where I'm going. This is the, the suffering energy. When that collapses, time's then just a tool or it's just, it just appears when it needs to appear for functioning. So can you tell me how Lisa feels about the fact that she was here yesterday? Yeah. How does that differ from what I, because I think yeah. I'm a person? Yeah. Well, it's really hard when you begin to ask these sort of questions because... I don't feel like myself to be somebody, but yet there can be the talking of what the body did very easily. In fact, that's what it does most of the time in society, communicates about what the body did. But then you're like, how does Lisa feel? And then it's like... (coughs) (coughs) (laughs) (laughs) Like, who? But the body can be described quite easily. It's like, how are you question? You just say, yes, good, thank you. (laughs) But that's really confusing. How are you? What do you refer yourself as? A feeling or emotion or a... But the body, the talking about the body does is very easy. The body did this, the body did that. Sometimes it's forgetful and misses things, but... (laughs) It's a very easy thing, but when you start asking about how do you feel or how do you relate to it, it's like... Just the you isn't relating. There just seems to have been this part that's claiming things that's fallen away, that thought that it was relating to the world, that thought that it was something or something that knew things about itself, was constantly, I suppose, looking at itself was constantly projecting an image of me in relationship with others or me doing this and replaying these stories and it kind of, it's kind of energy very energetical and it feels like it's coming from here I think that's what it was like I forget though that there was often an image of myself talking to other people so be talking there'll be an image of me talking to people and or there will be some sort of sense that I was talking to people or a self-consciousness that I was talking to people but that all just fell away and then there was talking with no idea of who I was or what I was so you see what well, that gives you a feel of what I'm trying to point to it's very yeah it's really it is it's not it's the end of suffering I mean it's, it really is the end of suffering, the end of that fixation of you in relationship with others. And it's just life happening, like child, childlikeness, you know, when there was just playing or singing or... You might see it in if your children are quite young still, just this innocent action happening, and they're not self-reflecting on it. It's very easy. And then when they're crying, they're crying. And then, then I love kids, they're like... Yeah. And then you change the subject and like, oh yes please, yes I'll do that. <laughs> and then they get reminded of the thing that upset them. Yeah. And then it becomes really intimate. Everything is intimate because it, there's not someone separating out anything anymore. 
There's an intimacy with everything, like you're watching your kids. And then there's crying, there's full on crying, there's nothing else but crying. <coughs> and then there's shouting, there's just shouting. So it's only ever the story you make up about it, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not quite you making it up. You yeah, are in the making up. Right, yeah, yeah, it's just coming yeah. through in the story. Yeah. And it's, it kind of gives it, I forget though, it gives an energetic pull that makes it feel like this is really happening and there's somebody at the centre of it all in relationship with it. Yeah. But actually, you know how we were doing that centre thing yesterday? Yeah. It was just emptiness. There's not actually somebody that's in there. Yeah. 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 Y